I'm a punk rock kid, and that's what I, you know, it's always been a part of the movies I've made. You know, sometimes I describe the Suicide Squad's a bit like a Nirvana song. You know, it has the big, huge action elements, and then it gets a little quieter with some more sensitive interpersonal stuff, and then it gets big again, and it has that, you know, flow to it. You know, it was just a couple days after, and uh, my manager, who's also the producer of the movie, Peter Safran, um, he works out with the head of Warner Brothers, and every day the head of Warner Brothers is coming in saying, you know, James Gunn, Superman, James Gunn, Superman. So that's kind of how it all started. So they came to me. They said, we'd love for you to do Superman or anything else you want. What do you want to do? And we'll do anything. And they said, you know, another one we'd love for you to do is Suicide Squad. And that was kind of lit a fire in me. I actually didn't um, decide immediately to do Suicide Squad. There were a number of projects I kind of was playing with and then figured out that that was the one that excited me the most creatively. Definitely uh, Flula Borg is the most, like, like Flula's built like a real life superhero. He's very tall. He's, sl you know, slim, but very muscular. He has a gymnast body. So he's, he's just a, uh, he looks like what I would imagine a real life superhero would look like. We don't need any extra muscle padding in his suit. No extra butt padding like, you know, a lot of people have. So he, he's, he is the real deal. I love Harley Quinn. I think that she's a classic, you know, comics character. I think she belongs on the wall besides Batman and Superman and Spider-Man and Wonder Woman. Hey guys, sorry I'm late. Had to go number two. Good to know. Um, so I really love her as a comic book character. Uh, but I have a soft spot for Ratcatcher. I have a soft spot for the Weasel. You know, I like a lot of the different characters in different ways. He's a weasel. He's harmless. I mean, he's not harmless. He's killed 27 children, but you know. <laughs> And we're making a character that has this big chest, you know, and Stallone's voice is so low. I can't even, I have a, you know, I can go pretty low with my voice, but I cannot do his voice. And it's so funny. We were doing one of these Zoom calls the other day with all of us, all of the actors and me were on this Zoom call. And every time Sly talks, it's just like it pierces through. It's like, you know, lava coming towards you, a low rumbling earthquake. And that is what we needed for King Shark, was just this voice that doesn't even seem human, really. Bird. <laughs> now, now it. Stay off the comp. Yeah, there were two main rats that we used who acted as Sebastian the Rat. One was Jaws and one was Chris Pratt. And, uh, and Chris Pratt was, uh, he was like, he did more like, he did like drinking out of cops and running around, he did things. And Jaws was more just really mellow. Jaws would just sit on Daniela's shoulder and sit in her hands and drink from a straw while he's sitting there. He was just really liked people. <laughs> Thanks, dude. I appreciate it. Good luck. Have fun.